saying goodbye to the 435. I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you What's up guys, welcome back to welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna show you guys what my new diet consists of. Woo! A little bit of 435 in the morning. First up, I just like to thank everybody who's supporting the channel. I have a lot of mods coming in for the 135 and the F10. I'm just waiting on those packages to come in. So I figured I might as well vlog for you guys today. But first things first, uh, I have about 11 miles to the tank and your man's starving. So uh, let's go get my new protein meal. Good morning, neighbors. Oh my gosh. It's so loud. Oh my gosh, I love this car. Oh no. And you know. Run around. Yeah. Riding on the top down. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love this car. Squirting out every little piece of gas that I have left in my car. Oh, buddy. There you guys have it. That's my twin, right there. And that, guys, is the line for in and out Oh my lord, every damn day never gets any shorter. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, can I get a double-double animal style? and uh, make that a protein style as well. Okay. And a cheeseburger protein style. Ah, let's go to double doubles okay. uh, protein style. Both animal style too. Okay. Ah, uh, that'd be all. Oh my gosh, guys. I really want either a platinum or a king ranch or a raptor one of these days. We do have our in and out, so let's go ahead and head home real quick. Speak of the devil, guys, the King Ranch. Oh my God, I love that logo. This is probably one of my dream trucks now. Honestly, my girl told me about the King Ranch, and once I actually looked into them and saw it and sat in one at Ford, I honestly fell head over heels for it. This is it, guys. Two protein burgers. Pretty much instead of the buns, you get a bunch of lettuce. It's just a healthier option. Now that we're finishing, let's head downstairs. So now that we finished food, let me explain to you guys what I actually said in the beginning of the video. What's exactly going on with Miss Copper over here? Oh my God, guys. This is the thing. This car, for the money, you just can't beat. Alright guys, so we're officially all alone with the 435s. Let me tell you guys my plans for it real quick. This is by far one of my favorite builds, mainly because it hasn't been giving me much issues. It's very reliable, really good on fuel economy, looks amazing, super fun to drive, super quick. A lot of you guys have been messaging me, am I gonna be selling this car? No, like just because I, you guys haven't been seeing on the channel, this is me and I'm actually selling the car. I'm actually waiting on a few mods, little ones and pretty big ones. One big mod that I'm actually working on is some new wheels. Now I love these wheels, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love them, but I do wanna go with some dream wheels kind of like bbs's or hre's or something like that i do want to get a crazy set like those on this car i feel like the car really deserves it i love these wheels but change is good you know i actually have a couple mods for this at the house and i just love the house but anyways let's head back and show you guys what we got for this car And you guys can see from this car, it has already ambient lighting, which is the M4 ambient lighting kit, which looks super good. But then this is actually a lot brighter than that. I don't know if it's supposed to be this bright. This one I actually got from off of eBay. It is actually super beautiful, super bright. I absolutely love it. And that's why I'm actually gonna be giving you guys this one. A friend of mine, Nick, sent me out OEM LED. I wanna compare it to this. So this is how it looked, eBay one. And let's just go ahead and throw in the M4 style one. Dunk. Never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the. All right, guys, I think it's about time to code this thing in because uh, nothing is working right, to be honest. <laughs> All right, guys, so here is pretty much the LCI climate control. Like, look how sick that look. Um, I love the way this looks so much more than the original, but what sucks is the fact that this doesn't work on a 13 build date. This car is a 2014, but has a 13 build date. So if you guys have a 14 build date and up, 
this is direct plug and play. All the LEDs will just work. And you have this sick layout with these sick little, I mean, I, I love the way this looks. I wish I can keep this, but unfortunately, it's not gonna work for mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw back my original one. Three, two, one. Hi right, guys, here's the pre-LCI gauges. Ah oh, man, I love the LCI one so much better, but it is what it is. I did take out the radio switches because this does look pretty cool and I like these two little extra things. Not a big deal, but I did wanna have it. So if you have a 2015, you don't have the LCI trim, LEDs, this is gonna work best for you. And since it doesn't work for me, for everyone that's actually watching this video, cause it is a vlog, so I don't expect a lot of you guys to be watching this. So for everyone that purchases anything from the store just today, so if only make like, if only five people purchase a jet tag or an air freshener or anything today, one of you guys will actually get this LCI black chrome LED trim. So this is super sick. I think this is valued like 100 or 150 bucks. All you gotta do is just purchase anything at the store, even if it's $5, it doesn't matter. Anything at all, and it'll be entered to win this. Look what we just got for the 435. Little front GoPro mount. I actually got one of these also for the 135. So once we actually start taking that 135 on the track, it's gonna be some first person perspective, which I think is pretty cool. Actually, I think this is a little bit more for the first person. I think this is like 0.1 perspective, like super close up in person. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and test out this little thing. Picked up a GoPro just for this occasion. You guys can see it's brand new. I picked up this mount from Burger Tuning. So if you guys are wondering where I got this from, a link down below. They have some for the E chassis and some for the F chassis. So let's go ahead and turn on this little sucker right here. And just like that, it's recording. Let's stick it out for a quick little rip. you guys doing welcome back thank you guys for not falling off the car i love you guys so much so i hope you guys enjoyed that little gopro footage now i just want to do one more mod to this car today and if you guys look at it from the front end we got some beautiful carbon fiber grills from keys motorsports the front lip from Keys Motorsports, little side mirror M4 style from Keys Motorsports, little side skirt extensions from Keys Motorsports. Super dirty, I'm sorry about that. The shark fin from Keys Motorsports. Spoiler from Keys Motorsports. Bumper extensions, again, super dirty from Keys Motorsports. And of course, the diffuser from Keys Motorsports. We also have these carbon forged tips from Valtronic. We got a lot of carbon goodies on this car. Eventually, I do want to find these in carbon. I think that'd be super sick. And this in carbon, that would be the ultimate dream. I feel I feel like a big ass piece of carbon right here would be super sick. Unfortunately, this is an aftermarket hood and aftermarket company has to go ahead and make this as well in carbon, which is not going to be easy, nor is it going to be cheap. But lucky for me, I noticed that Souvenir stocked up on these carbon fiber dipped grills. So this isn't actually carbon fiber, it's just dipped and it looks really freaking good so here's like the matte original and then here's the dipped version imagine that in there unfortunately i cannot put that in right there because i do have to trim it up like this one so i'll see you guys tomorrow at the shop all right guys so we just made it to the shop here is the original one and uh here is the carbon dipped one so this looks obviously a lot better we're just gonna go ahead and try to match the trim as you guys can see i trimmed it to basically fill the intake only if you have an aftermarket intake you have to do this i i just happen to have a really big aftermarket intake so that's what i'm gonna have to trim so uh yeah let's just get the trim why don't we say that it's too late for us now why do we stay when I blame you for the things that weigh me down Cause in the echo of your silence I only hear what's best for me Yeah, in the echo of your silence I'm thinking more of her She who wants to study your body Who gets the better version of you Guys, parked right here. I don't know if you guys recognize this spot. I don't know if you guys remember this, pretty much this background. I'm throwing a photo right there. It's when my hidden features video took off and I had the 330i with a billion kadillion problems. And that just comes to show how rough life could be. And I have, I ended up with this car and I absolutely love it. This is an absolute dream car. I cannot believe I actually own this thing. Thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel. I will not be selling this in the near future. If anything, I will be keeping it and single turboing it like the 135. I have no 
noticing you guys are not too happy with the 135 content let me know down below is it a car you guys want to see me build up or is there something else you guys want to see like maybe an m235 maybe an m2 or an m car so i could go ahead and sell that car maybe finance one of those if you guys want to see that over the 135 but as for this it is a very reliable and amazing daily so i do intend on keeping it but yeah without further ado guys i love y'all so much again thank you for all the support i wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you guys cop some merch if you're trying to support your boy and be shout out in the next video without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble see you guys in the next one peace out